Liverpool finally get their gloves on a new goalkeeper. Bayern look to shed some excess baggage in pre-season. Financial fair play could hit AC Milan right in the balls. And there's loads more transfer rumours coming up. That and more in the next few minutes as I'm your host Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. Firstly, we arrive at the news that you've probably heard by now. But ever since Loris Karius made that huge second error in the Champions League final, things have definitely looked like they were coming to the end for him. And so, Liverpool have signed Brazilian Alisson. The deal that cost around £66.8 million should be completed by Saturday once he's passed a medical. And for that kind of money, Liverpool could have bought 14 Loris Cariuses. But I'd still rather have one Alisson in goal. Next, we move to Germany, where there could be a huge squad trimming session going on at Bayern Munich, with these potential transfers bringing in around £150 million. Now, they might not all happen, but by the end of the transfer window, we could have seen Iron Robben move to Lazio, Kingsley Coman joined Arsenal for around £44 million, Thiago moved back to Barcelona for around £70 million, and Polish striker Robert Lewandowski joined Real Madrid or Manchester United. Now I know what you're going to say, Matt, I think you're crazy. But Niles Barkley jokes aside, some of these transfers could actually happen. But let me know your opinion in the comments below. So from one team who could make a load of money but don't necessarily need to, to another team who need to sell a player or two so they don't get the book thrown at them by the financial fair play laws. Last summer, AC Milan spent a load of money bringing in new players, almost 200 million in fact. Now a new financial season is starting, they need to prove they can run the club efficiently. However, after last year's less than good performances, they need to bring in a few more players to ensure they do well on the pitch, whilst also juggling matters off the pitch. This means that the potential signing of Alvaro Morata can only be done once they sold the likes of Leonardo Bonucci and Gigi Donnarumma, with Manchester United and PSG interested respectively. Oh, and if that wasn't complicated enough, they can only really sign Morata from Chelsea once Chelsea sign a replacement, and that looks likely to be Gonzalo Higuain from Juventus. So there you have it, another layer to this oddly tasting, rather confusing transfer cake. Now lastly, we reach the transfer rumours of the day, where, to be honest, I could have just made loads of these up and nobody could prove me wrong, because at the end of the day, they're just rumours. So here are some of the 100% factual rumours that are definitely maybe not not happening. First up, Everton can sign Danny Welbeck and Crystal Palace's Wilfred Zaha. Fulham are looking to spend 20 million to make Alexander Mitrovic a permanent signing after his successful loan spell last season. Tottenham could shed out around £30 million for Aston Villa's Jack Grealish, and Burley want to do a double deal with Swansea for their players Sam Klukas and Alfie Mawson. That's all from me for now. Make sure you smash that like button down below, and don't forget to leave your comments on all of today's transfers. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.